Avoid these six white foods if you have diabetes. Living with diabetes means being mindful of what you eat. Your diet plays a crucial role in managing your blood sugar levels and overall health. While there's no one-size-fits-all diabetes diet, many experts recommend limiting or avoiding certain white foods. These foods are often highly processed and can cause rapid spikes in blood sugar levels, which can be particularly problematic for people with diabetes. In this video, we'll explore six white foods that people with diabetes should consider avoiding or eating in moderation. We'll also discuss why these foods can be problematic and suggest some healthier alternatives. 1. White bread. White bread is a staple in many households, but it's not the best choice for people with diabetes. The problem with white bread lies in how it's made. During the refining process, the wheat's bran and germ are removed, leaving only the starchy endosperm. This process strips away much of the fiber, vitamins, and minerals found in whole wheat. The result is a product that's high in simple carbohydrates and low in fiber. When you eat white bread, your body quickly breaks down these simple carbs into sugar, causing a rapid rise in blood glucose levels. For people with diabetes, these sudden spikes can be dangerous and make it harder to manage the condition. 2. White rice. Like white bread, white rice is a refined grain that has been stripped of its bran and germ. This process removes most of the fiber, vitamins, and minerals, leaving behind the starchy endosperm. As a result, white rice is high in simple carbohydrates and can cause rapid spikes in blood sugar levels. White rice has a high glycemic index, which means it can cause a quick and significant increase in blood glucose levels. This can be particularly problematic for people with diabetes who are trying to maintain stable blood sugar levels throughout the day. 3. White pasta. White pasta, like white bread and rice, is made from refined wheat flour. During the refining process, the wheat kernels bran and germ are removed, leaving only the starchy endosperm. This results in a product that's high in simple carbohydrates but low in fiber, vitamins, and minerals. When you eat white pasta, your body quickly breaks down the simple carbs into sugar, leading to a rapid increase in blood glucose levels. This can be particularly challenging for people with diabetes who are trying to maintain stable blood sugar levels. Moreover, because white pasta lacks fiber, it may not keep you feeling full for very long. This could lead to overeating or snacking between meals, which can further complicate blood sugar management. 4. White Potatoes White potatoes are a staple in many diets around the world, but they can be problematic for people with diabetes. While potatoes do contain some beneficial nutrients, they're also high in starch, which is quickly broken down into sugar in the body. White potatoes have a high glycemic index, meaning they can cause a rapid increase in blood sugar levels. This can be particularly challenging for people with diabetes who are trying to maintain stable blood glucose levels throughout the day. Moreover, the way potatoes are often prepared can make them even less diabetes-friendly. Fried potatoes, like french fries or potato chips, are high in unhealthy fats and often contain added salt. Mashed potatoes are often prepared with butter and cream, adding unnecessary calories and saturated fat to the dish. Instead of white potatoes, consider lower glycemic alternatives. Sweet potatoes, for example, have a lower glycemic index than white potatoes and are rich in vitamins and minerals. Other good alternatives include non-starchy vegetables like cauliflower, which can be mashed or roasted as a potato substitute. If you do choose to eat white potatoes, there are ways to make them more diabetes-friendly. Eating them with the skin on provides more fiber, which can help slow down digestion. Cooling potatoes after cooking and eating them cold, as in a potato salad, can also lower their glycemic index. 5. White sugar. White sugar, also known as table sugar or sucrose, is perhaps the most obvious white food that people with diabetes should avoid or limit significantly. Sugar is a simple carbohydrate that is quickly absorbed into the bloodstream, causing a rapid spike in blood glucose levels. For people with diabetes, Consuming large amounts of white sugar can make it very difficult to manage blood glucose levels. Over time, consistently high blood sugar levels can lead to various complications associated with diabetes, including damage to blood vessels, 
nerves, and organs. Moreover, sugar is often referred to as empty calories because it provides energy but no nutritional value. Consuming too much sugar can lead to weight gain, which can further complicate diabetes management. It's important to note that sugar isn't just found in obvious sources like candy or cookies. It's often added to many processed foods, including some you might not expect, like salad dressings, sauces, and even some types of bread. Always check food labels for added sugars. Instead of white sugar, consider using natural sweeteners in moderation. Stevia, for example, is a plant-based sweetener that doesn't affect blood sugar levels. However, even natural sweeteners should be used sparingly. Fruit can also be a good way to satisfy a sweet craving. While fruits do contain natural sugars, they also provide fiber, vitamins, and minerals. The fiber in fruit helps slow down the absorption of sugar, leading to a more gradual rise in blood glucose levels. 6. White salt. While salt doesn't directly affect blood sugar levels, it's worth mentioning in this list because many people with diabetes also have high blood pressure, and excessive salt intake can worsen this condition. White table salt, or sodium chloride, is a refined product that's stripped of other minerals. It's often used liberally in cooking and is added to many processed foods. High sodium intake can lead to fluid retention, which can raise blood pressure. For people with diabetes who are already at an increased risk of heart disease, managing blood pressure is crucial. Instead of relying heavily on white salt, consider using herbs and spices to flavor your food. These can add depth and complexity to your meals without the need for excessive salt. When you do use salt, consider sea salt or Himalayan pink salt, which contain trace minerals. However, remember that all types of salt contain sodium, so moderation is key. Conclusion. Managing diabetes involves more than just avoiding certain foods. It's about creating a balanced, nutritious diet that helps maintain stable blood sugar levels and promotes overall health. While these six white foods, white bread, white rice, white pasta, white potatoes, white sugar, and white salt can be problematic for people with diabetes, it doesn't mean they're entirely off limits. The key is moderation and making informed choices. Opt for whole grain alternatives when possible, choose complex carbohydrates over simple ones, and be mindful of portion sizes. Remember, everyone's body responds differently to various foods, so it's important to work with your healthcare provider or a registered dietitian to create a meal plan that works best for you. Moreover, diet is just one aspect of diabetes management. Regular physical activity, Proper medication management, if prescribed, and regular checkups with your healthcare provider are all crucial components of a comprehensive diabetes care plan. By making informed food choices and adopting a healthy lifestyle, people with diabetes can effectively manage their condition and reduce the risk of complications. Remember, small changes can make a big difference in your health and quality of life.